Hey, I wanted to go over some setups uh, from yesterday and today. Uh, we have the higher time frame. Uh, just got some last runners on, playing around a little bit with the MNQs here to wrap up on one of my accounts. I already did really good to the long side on my main account and hit. We had four bar reversal, as you can see here uh, on the higher time frame at the high of the day. I just kind of sat back and waited. I hit that with MNQs because I already made money to the long side with NQs uh, earlier in the day. So you can see right there, there was the four bar reversal in the higher time frame, and we had it at a precise level two on the lower time frame. So I was actually in on the lower time frame one, and I was actually in pretty late. Uh, I wasn't as attentive. I thought. We we're pushing a bit, and the next thing I look, we're already rolled over and created the four bar reversal. So I don't mind taking a shot at that since the market made a push to new multi month highs. Uh, but I want to show you right out of the US cash session open. We had right after the open, we had this W pattern here and the structural uh, from, from basically from. You know, downside momentum back to upside momentum there. I took a shot at that one. I had my stop below most recent price pivots. That lifted, stalled, came back. We actually had another W pattern. So we had back to back. And that can happen when the market's coiling up and getting ready to make a move. Not at all surprised. We pushed. The market's been very bullish. News this morning was, you know, Decent, nothing wrong with it. No reason why we shouldn't push a bit, range extend. And sure enough, and then seeing, uh, as soon as I got the first red bar to form after this push, knowing we were at multi-month highs, I went flat on remainder and called it good. So uh, then we got the four bar reversal in the higher time frame or lower time frame. They were all good to go. You can use either one. And uh, that's been running. Now there was an another, uh, Primary trade setup, a trend following right here. We had another one right here, if you didn't get in. But uh, market obviously pushing to new highs, and that got rejected. So uh, overall, uh, fairly easy the morning. Yes, the morning might have felt choppy, but there was patterns there. Now, I don't typically like to buy into resistance, but when the news is good and the market's been real bullish, and I see the market not getting sold into, and I'm seeing the market lifting and trending higher, making higher pivot lows uh, very much. And, and look at that, just just coiling up, waiting. And sure enough, it broke out, gave us some probe range extension to higher price levels, and those have now been rejected. So now we have profit taking. Sorry, a bit of allergies and congestion. Just wanted to clear my throat real quick and get into yesterday. After news, I thought yesterday was a pretty straightforward day. Uh, right after news had played out, we got the big news reaction to play out uh, after the big push. Uh, about 7.38, 7.39, going around 7.40, uh, or maybe it was about 7.45, we formed the M pattern. I took a shot at that. I took three shots to the short side. They all worked out. Never got any big follow through or sell off, but I like hitting reactionary moves off news. Had a beautiful M pattern, uh, had a four bar reversal and another four bar reversal, and that worked out. And then later in the day, uh, I did take one trade. I took a W pattern. Where was that? Oh yeah, right in here. We had a little bit of a W pattern. I took that to the long side, uh, made a little bit, not a lot, but called it a day. Uh, but all in all, yesterday, if I would have stuck in it, uh, there was some additional W pattern buy side action. Now, as the market went up during the day and made new highs, we were getting four bar reversal slap downs, made another new high, four bar reversal slap down. Uh, that continued. We had one more right there. And then uh, late part of the day, she ran pretty hard. So all in all, though, yesterday, Coming in the end part of the day, we were pretty much bullish. Every pullback was getting bought. We had really nice uh, patterns here. W pattern lift, pullback above these recent pivots, and lift again. We had a really nice trend following 
but you know that's right in the end of day's action i don't trade that late in the day but uh you know maybe you do so there you have it just wanted to go over what's going on or what played out yesterday uh, what's going on today uh, pretty good day so far a little bit of coiling up the push probe higher new multi-month highs achieved that's been rejected and we've stair stepped down now the market's going to look to try to build some support where could we potentially have some support well this area seems likely uh would not be surprised though the way this has been rejected to see this get broken down possibly and press through at least once where we'll break down and accelerate to the downside as more profit taking hits uh, or this area holds and we get a little bit of bounce up then we may get a lower pivot high and roll back over and that could be significant for multi-day uh, selling profit taking so there you have it just wanted to cover the last couple of days uh, whether you're trading the nq or the mnqs uh, for the new algo system